Okay, so I have a new project that I really want to work on. It's this mirror. It's seven feet tall, probably like two-ish feet wide, and I'm going to turn it into a mirror that you would probably see in Bridgerton. Let's go. So I went online and I started to try and find um, mirrors that I thought maybe I could just buy one instead of creating a whole new one. I can use this one somewhere else in my home. I found this Anthro one and it was $1,500. And I was like, no, we're not gonna do that. So I left there feeling heartbroken and I jumped on over to Pinterest. And Pinterest, I found these awesome mirrors and I just decided that I was going to create a Bridgerton anthropology type mirror. Okay, so I went on Home Depot after deciding that I wanted to do this project. I went on Home Depot and I ordered a couple of molds. This one's polyurethane. And then these ones are wood that I painted white as a primer before I spray paint them. So the plan is, there's the mirror there. The plan is to spray paint the mirror gold. I'm using Rust-Oleum metallic gold right here, bonds to plastic wood, metal and more, um, indoor use only. So it's not good for outside, which is good. That mirror is staying inside. Um, so I ordered these molds. The molds are going to kind of like outline the mirror. We're gonna make it look really um, like French, very like artisanal. We're going for like a Bridgerton theme here. If you guys watch that show, you know what I mean. So we have this big, big piece that I got on Home Depot. It was like $5. I had to pick it up in the store. I have these two pieces that are going to kind of like connect right here up at the top. I have some smaller pieces for accents. I have these two, um, they almost look a little nautical, but we're gonna make them work with the French theme. Um, these are gonna go near the bottom to just add some detail into the bottom. And then these long ones are going to go up the side of the mirror. So I ordered these molds. The molds are going to kind of like outline the mirror. We're gonna make it look really um, like French, very like artisanal. We're going for like a Bridgerton theme here. If you guys watch that show, you know what I mean. So we have this big, big piece that I got on Home Depot. It was like $5. I had to pick it up in the store. I have these two pieces that are going to kind of like connect right here up at the top. I have some smaller pieces for accents. I have these two, um, they almost look a little nautical, but we're gonna make them work with the French theme. Um, these are gonna go near the bottom to just add some detail into the bottom. And then these long ones are going to go up the side. So yeah, the plan is to just spray paint those gold. We are gonna head to the Dollar Tree soon and we are gonna get some um, plastic tablecloths um, to kind of lay out so that way we can spray paint this mirror. We're gonna get some masking tape and probably some painter's paper to block off um, the reflective mirror side and we'll get to spray painting and Okay, so here basically what I'm doing is um, taping up the reflective side of the mirror. Um, I went in with some old paper grocery bags and some masking tape and just started taping along those edges because I didn't want any spray paint to get through. I know I could have gone in with some acetone later and cleaned up any edges, so it wasn't perfect, but it would have saved up a lot of mess. Okay, so 
I've taped up the mirror and I've moved it outside. It's dark now because I ran around, I was doing some errands. I've laid down like a plastic tablecloth from the Dollar Tree. Ignore my hot mess of a taping job. Um, I just used some old paper grocery bags. Um, probably could have, I got two of these. I probably could have used another one. But you know, you work with what you got and I can reuse these grocery bags to wrap up uh, my ornaments or I can use it as gift wrap paper or anything like that. So now we're gonna start spray painting. Okay, so we have one coat done. It's hard to see, I know it's dark, but I wanted to try and get one coat done before tomorrow. So that way I could show you guys the finished product in the daylight. I think it's looking pretty good. We're gonna push it back some in case it does decide to rain again because it's been raining all night. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is what we got so far. You can already start to see that beautiful gold shine. So I'm gonna push it back a little bit more, maybe even turn it sideways after it dries a little bit, just so that way it does have time to dry. Um, so yeah, we'll check back in in the morning. See you guys soon. And here is the finished mirror. Well, the spray painted mirror anyways. Um, one coat did the trick. So up next, you'll see what it's like with the molds all attached. Okay guys, so I just glued on the molds for the mirror. This is what the bottom looks like. I turned this one on a diagonal and I kind of like added some stuff to the corner to make it just a little bit more even. The grand finale. This big top piece right here. I took the center piece, measured it, and put it right in the middle. I have the big leafy ones coming down the side, and then I took the skinny wooden ones and added them on top of that to create more of like an upward angle. I am literally so happy with how this mirror turned out. It looks expensive. And it looks like it was from Bridgerton. And am I right? Am I right? Yeah, that is the final mirror. I now feel like uh, the diamond of the season from Bridgerton. Thanks for watching everyone. Um, bye.